What's up you all that has requested Miss Tamia live vocal range. Let's get right on into it. When it comes to you, I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't even change the things I could change. Cause baby, you're perfect. You're perfect to me. Something means that you are perfect for me. And today, I'm officially missing you. I thought that from this high, I could escape. She's got great pitch. Can I just see you every morning when I open my eyes? And the sweetest. By our bed, the suspense is pounding and clouding up my head. I'm checking your clothes. I wasn't complete till the day you walked into my life. I sang it well. No. Okay, the F3 sharp is really when I'm starting to <laughs> hear sort of uh, uh, the fullness and the depth there. The others were kind of, you could tell she wasn't really comfortable and they weren't as, you know, uh, audible. Um, but, but I'm really here and I'm starting to feel her on the F3 sharp there. So she is so beautiful too. Come on, Pacific breath. The power in that bill. It's too much, so I can't stay. And her name is a me. And she loves me more than you'll ever know. Hey. can be real sweet and things like that but there's a thickness there's something in there especially on that clip that that was some some weight some power something else was coming from from from, from that belt i'm not sure what it is but that was some that was something else come on sing That, that was eargasmic. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it because that's what I'm thinking. Eargasmic. The way they blended and belted like that, it, it, it made some kind of, what, what do you call that? I don't know what you call that, but it, you know what it reminds me of? When Mariah Carey and Patti LaBelle uh, uh, were singing uh, Got To Be Real and Mariah hit the same note as Patti. Patti hit it in four chests. She hit it in, in like an octave above, but it was the same note, like a G, I believe G sharp or something like that. I think Mariah hit a G 
a, a G6, Patty hit a G5 sharp, G6 sharp, G5 sharp. And the way it blended, it had that effect of like, it, it's almost like they supercharge each other's notes and it just sounds inhuman. It had that same effect here. And it's just, I don't know how to describe it. Technically, I don't know the words, but uh, it, it had some crazy just effect, like a, a trumpets or something. It's crazy. <laughs> up there it's, it's it's the freedom uh 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 no tension there but she is way up there and she's phrasing up there and she's not taking like she's taking very little breath <laughs> and and she just gets the support the, the stamina and she makes it sound easy that's what i mean by you know she sounds like youthful like she she's like she's very young and it just comes you know what i mean it's just that brightness that freedom that youthfulness that free <laughs> G5 to the most beautiful, smooth, innocent sounding falsetto. It's like going from a lightning storm to a feather. How does one even, how does one even go from that extreme to the other? It, it, 
Beautiful. <laughs> Tamia, I believe it's pronounced right. Um, that woman, it just that, that transition again from that Savage G5 to that falsetto, that most beautiful falsetto. She has such a, like I said, she, I'm just gonna repeat myself. I said everything I want to say, so I won't forget at the end, you know, because if it's really long, I'll be forgetting. But I said everything I need to say, you know, her, her falsetto is beautiful. I mean, her, her, her the power. I don't expect certain f certain amount of the fullness of certain notes at certain times when she chooses when she wants to. She had such depth and, and, and warmth to her mid belt that I just I just don't expect because she has such a youthful, uh, young, innocent type tone to her voice, so bright and 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 you can tell that it just her voice just naturally wants to soar, wants to go higher and higher and higher, and um, uh, really. When, when she started really blowing me away was in the fourth octave. Then the C5 came and I was done. Her voice really wants to be in that fifth octave. I, I believe her voice really would just sit, sit pretty in the, in, in the fifth octave. And uh, I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it, it can be so powerful. Like I said, like a storm and then uh, like a feather just fall and just, just flowing in the wind. Um, and, and even though some of the runs were unexpected, those ascending runs <laughs> were, were just fire and, and she's going off. I really want to watch some of these performances themselves when she, when she was really going off and hitting them G5s and F5s. I really want to watch these performances themselves as opposed to just getting a few seconds of each one. You know what I mean? I would like to just watch her like y'all give me some of her like her best live performances where she's going off like some of the ones I've seen here. I would love to hear the whole just see the whole thing. I mean, cause I, I I just mean she's just she's got the most beautiful tone, and she's red. I remember when I did a video. I believe it was her. Was it her? Um, and it was. I don't know. I don't know. It was her. It was Kelly Price, and um, who who, who was that? Was it was it Deborah Cox? I believe it was Deborah Cox. Uh uh. And and they were just killing. And Miss Tamaya came in, and uh, her resonance it, it just stood out to me. It just popped out the resonance and the volume, and it was sharp. It, it cut through every like everybody else and their beast themselves. I'm not now playing them because they're beasts. But the way her tone just cut through all of it, and you would think that she would have the lighter tone because it's so pretty, <laughs> and, and but it cut through. I mean. I, I just, it's amazing, it's amazing. But anyway, uh, uh, and she is one of the most beautiful women. I mean, just, it may, anyway, thank you all for liking and subscribing. Please continue to do more of your favorite speech.